quick. The price of water for private households in Israel has been rising significantly in the past three years. The price hike is part of the country's attempt to balance a growing demand for water with a dwindling natural supply. The Hirsch household, which consists of Yoav, his wife Iris, and their four children, paid 31 US dollars for 40 cubic meters of water in August 2007. In August 2010, for the same amount of water, they paid $70. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing that, uh, or I'm, I'm joking about this, that uh, the price of water becomes almost the same price as uh, oil. Hirsch decided to install a system that treats gray water, water generated from washing and bathing. In the Hirsch home, a pipe collects the gray water from the bath, the bathroom sink, and the washing machine, leading it to treatment barrels located outside. Inside here is the gray water before treatment. Uh, raw water comes from the, uh, the washing machine, comes from the bath. Unlike in other countries facing a water crisis, like in Spain and Australia, in Israel, domestic water recycling is illegal. Hirsch self-built his recycling system, improvising with barrels that were originally created to store compost. I opened the third barrel. You can see, you can see clean water. In this, in this barrel, they, they were gray. In this barrel, in this barrel they are not gray. At least they are not suitable for drinking, but they are not great anymore. The Hirsch family's fruit trees are watered using only the treated gray water. It allows the backyard to blossom without inflating the family's water bill. From the moment I started to water those trees with the gray water, the trees, they love it. They just grow uh, uh, immensely, a lot more than they grown before I connected the system. Probably because I didn't give them enough water and now they have enough water. The method used to treat the Hirsch family's gray water has been tested by one of Israel's leading water experts. Professor Eran Friedler has been experimenting with gray water recycling using the water generated in a student dormitory at Israel's Institute of Technology. Someone is probably using the wash basin and uh, we collect the water, the gray water, and then it will be treated and will be reused as a new source of water. Gray water is collected to an equalization basin, and from there it is going into this system, drips all the way down. Professor Friedler introduces the bio rock, which is the mineral responsible for treating the gray water. It's a very, very fluffy mineral, but actually, this mineral is stuffed with uh, heterotrophic bacteria, bacteria that uh, actually feed on the organic pollutants that uh, are present in the gray water and what actually they do they take them it out from the gray water and at the end you get very clear gray water effluent back in his lab professor friedler stresses that gray water can be dangerous gray water can be a vector of disease that's why it has to be treated otherwise you can harm the environment you can harm the soil structure and you may pose health risk. The Ministry of Health has been blocking attempts to legalize domestic water recycling, claiming it poses too much risk to the public health and to the environment. The amount of bacteria in, in grey water is millions, and it's very hazardous, and I don't want to say dangerous, but there are lots of hazards in, in the grey water. We don't want to have a treatment plant under every uh, tree or, or, or light in the park or near every fence. 
Every treatment plant, it's a weak link in the system. A new bill regulating reuse of grey water is currently being reviewed by the Israeli parliament. The bill was proposed by Knesset member Nitzan Horvitz. It is a great just think about statistically, if you have 100 treatment plants, the probability of having a failure is much higher than if you have 10. I want to sleep well at night. Be sure that uh, no hazard is caught to the people. יש כבר המון אנשים שרוצים לעשות את זה וכבר עושים את זה בפועל למרות שזה אסור עושים את זה באופן בלתי חוקי החוק הזה נועד לתת להם כלים לעשות את זה בצורה מסודרת ובטוחה באמת בלי שיהיו חיבורים פיראטיים שיהיה פיקוח על איכות המים According to פרופסור פרידלר's research grey water treatment systems based on the same technology which is used in the Hirsch household are reliable enough and minimize any health risk or environmental hazards Grey water can be reused safely if all the proper measures are taken. If you say no and no and no, things will continue happening and a lot of people who, thinks that, who think that they are doing good things will end up doing things that are harmful for the environment and maybe risky. What the government should say is how to do it right and start a certification program for systems for companies and so on and so forth. Israel's massive investment in seawater desalination shows the country's leaders have realized that the natural supply of fresh water is not sufficient. Legalizing and regulating the reuse of domestic grey water appears to be the next necessary step. <laughs>